Hi, I'm George and I'll be showing you how to use Pantone colors inside of Photoshop Elements. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well and also subscribe. When you subscribe, also click on that bell icon a couple of times. That way you'll get notifications of my new videos. And if you want to learn everything about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there at the top of the description. Okay, let's get to it. The Pantone color system is one that is used frequently, if not almost all the time, in printing. Now the reason for that is that Pantone has come up with standardized colors and they have numbers for those colors and then you can get color swatches so you can find an exact color match and also printers can get the actual ink mixing recipes to exactly match that color in their print presses. So it's a very, very useful system and is used all the time in professional printing. The trouble inside of Photoshop Elements is that you don't have any way to easily select Pantone colors. Now if I bring up the color picker over here, there we go. I know that this blue here is going to be inside this range somewhere. I can kind of get close just by eyeballing it. And I can probably get pretty close to that just by doing a little bit of quick choosing here. But then I'm trained as a graphic artist, so I have a lot of experience on doing that. That's probably pretty close. But it's not exact. And if you need to have the exact number here for this exact color, we'll need to have some way of changing our, our color down here using the RGB values or the hexadecimal values or the hue, saturation, brightness level values. So you need these numbers in here to do that. Now, if I was working over on the Adobe Photoshop program, a more expensive, more advanced program, you can actually change your display here to show Pantone swatches. Then you just choose your swatch and you're all set to go. Real easy to do because, of course, that's a professional program designed for professional graphic artists and photographers. But Elements isn't designed that way, so we need to be able to convert this, and not this swatch here, but the actual number for this over into our RGB values or our hexadecimal value right down here. Luckily, there's an easy way to do this, and Pantone has supplied that to us. Let me just bring up the Pantone website real fast here. Here we go. Easy to find. It's at Pantone.com. Right there, Pantone. This is the actual company that supplies this color and does all this great stuff for us, this color matching stuff. Now, if you scroll down to the very bottom of this page, past all this advertising, of course, all the stuff that they sell, but go to the very, very bottom of the page, right down here, where it says color tools and then in here there's find a Pantone color. Just go ahead and click on that and that will bring up a nice big Pantone color swatch in here. Give it a second to load in. There it is. And here you can find your actual Pantone colors. Now if you just want to find a color that you like just look through here and find one. There's a big long list here of colors as you can see. Just find one that you like and you can see right down there there's the number for that. Now that's nice if you're just looking for a Pantone number, but how do we find an exact number that we may have been given in a project? Let me bring back up that Photoshop Elements file, and then let's find the actual color for that. Pretty easy here, I have the number on that swatch. Let me just get this out of the way, there we go. So I'll zoom in on that number, and it's 18-4538. Okay, let's go ahead and bring back up the Pantone page. And then type the number over here where it says filter. And that's 18-4538. Now we're not seeing anything yet over here. And that's because there are several different color sets that Pantone has available. Right now I'm looking at the Formula Guide Coded. This is the most standard one. It's for glossy paper. And this is for matte paper. And those are what are normally used. But this isn't one of those colors in here. So the way you find it is just to work your way down. Now this is in the Pantone matching system for graphics up here, so it's not showing here, so it won't be showing in any of these. So let's go down to the next section, and that's right down here, Fashion, Home, and Interiors. Let's try this one here. I'll do the top one on that section. Let that think, and there we go. There's that swatch right there. So we found our swatch color. Now just click on the swatch, and that then brings up a new page with just information about that particular swatch right there. And for us, the important stuff over here is the color values. This is an RGB value of 0, 
120 and 167 or a hexadecimal HTML of 0078A7. Now you can use either of these two numbers if you want to, either change the RGB values or just more easily done here with the hex HTML value. Let me just select it this way, there we go. I'll right click and copy. We can now just paste that right into the color picker over in Photoshop Elements. Let's bring back up the color picker over here and then right down here where it has a little pound sign right there just change that to that other number I'll just do a right click and paste there's that exact number choose OK and that is the exact color now now it may not look exactly the same here on screen that's because on this one I just took this swatch here I used the eyedropper tool right there I copied it with the eyedropper tool and then pasted it in down here so it may not be the exact right color this though is the exact right color because it now matches the hexadecimal now the a is in lowercase here it's uppercase over on the pantone page doesn't make any difference same thing so we have that set now all we need to do is just take the paint bucket and make sure that i'm on that right layer i'll click into there just a slight shift on that and there we go this color now exactly matches that pantone swatch let's go back to fit screen so that's how you do it. That's how you can easily take a Pantone number, a Pantone color if you're given one, and then get the exact matching color to use inside of Photoshop Elements. Again, real easy two-part process. It's all done through the color picker right over here in either using the RGB values or the hexadecimal values right down here. That's the easiest one. And then using that Pantone website to find the exact matching color. Let me just show you that again one last time. Okay, here we are. Let's go back to the home page for Pantone. Right there, there's your home page. Again, it's just at Pantone.com. Scroll clear to the bottom. Right there, find a Pantone color. Click on that. This takes you into that Pantone page right here. And up here where it says filter, just type in your number. And again, the one that we had was 184538. And do a search for that. If you don't see anything in here, then check one of the different color systems. This is our graphics. I'll scroll down, check the next one, Fashion Home. Top choice will work out just fine for us. You should then see your swatch. There it is. Click on that. And then right there are the values that you need. And the easy one is the hex HTML value right there. Just copy and paste. There we go. Copy. And then paste that right into the color picker right down there. And there we go. You're now using Pantone colors right inside of Photoshop Elements. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also click on share and subscribe. And to learn a whole lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And again, that's right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.